In question one, we are given two problems. We have to form a pair of linear equations in each problem and then we have to find the solution graphically. So let's begin with the first problem. It says that 10 students of class 10 took part in a math quiz. If the number of girls is four more than the number of boys, find the number of boys and girls who took part in the quiz. So the two unknowns here are the number of boys and the number of girls who took part in the quiz. So let's assume that the number of, so this is part one. So the number of boys, let's assume that this is X and let's assume that the number of girls is Y. So now we have a total of 10 students, a total of 10 students who took part in the quiz. And that means that X plus Y should be equal to 10. So our first equation is X plus Y equal to 10. Also the problem statement says that the number of girls is four more than the number of boys. So we can write Y is 4 more than x or y is equal to x plus 4. So this is our second equation in x and y. So we got two equations in x and y, x plus y equal to 10 and y equal to x plus 4. Now let's plot both of these equations and find the solution of this pair graphically. So here's our axis with the horizontal axis representing X, which is the number of boys and the vertical axis representing Y, which is the number of girls. Now our first equation was X plus Y equal to 10. So let's plot this equation first. And to plot this, let's find out any two solutions of this equation and plot them and then draw the line through them. So let's make this X, Y table and we'll find, we'll give two values to X and find the corresponding values of Y. So if I give, if I make X equal to two, then Y will be equal to eight because X plus Y is 10. And let's say if I make X equal to seven, then Y will be equal to three. So two solutions of this first equation are two comma eight and seven comma three. So two comma eight lies here, this point here, 2 comma 8 and 7 comma 3 is this point here. And now what I can do is I can simply draw the line through them and that will be the solution line. So let's draw it like this. Okay. So this line represents the solution line for the first equation x plus y equal to 10. Now the second equation we had was y equal to x plus 4 and once again to plot this let's find out any two solutions of this equation plot those two solutions and then draw the line through them. So let's make an x y table once again and give two values to x. So let's for example if I take x equal to 1 then y will be equal to 5 and if I take x equal to let's say 4 then y will be equal to 8. So two solutions for this second equation are 1 comma 5. So 1 comma 5 lies here this point here and 4 comma 8. So 4 comma 8 lies here this point here and now what I can do is I can draw the line through these two points and that will be the solution line for the second equation. So so I can draw this line like this. So this line is the solution line for the second equation y is equal to x plus 4. Now we can see that these two lines intersect at this point here and this is the point 3 comma 7. So this point represents the solution of this pair of equations. The coordinates of this point give us the values of x and y. So x equal to 3 and y equal to 7, which means that the number of boys is 3 and the number of girls is 
seven who participated in the quiz. So that completes uh, part one of this question. Now let's go to part two. So in part two, the question says five pencils and seven pens together cost rupees fifty, whereas seven pencils and five pens together cost rupees forty six. Find the cost of one pencil and that of one pen. So clearly the two unknowns in this situation are the cost of one pencil and the cost of one pen. So let's say that the cost of one pencil or the cost per pencil is rupees x and the cost per pen is rupees y. So x and y are the two unknowns in this situation. Now let's make two linear equations in x and y uh, based on what the statement says. So the first part of the statement says five pencils and seven pens cost rupees fifty. So five pencils will cost five x rupees, seven pens will cost seven y rupees, and the total cost of these two should be fifty. So this is our first linear equation: five x plus seven y equal to fifty. Then the second part of the statement says seven pencils and five pens together cost rupees forty six. So seven pencils will cost seven x rupees, five pens will cost five y rupees, and the total cost of these two will be forty six. So this gives us our second linear equation in x and y, and this is the pair of linear equations that we have to solve. So now what we'll do is we'll plot both of these equations. We'll graph both of them, and the point of intersection will be the required solution. So here's our axis on which we'll plot the two equations. The horizontal axis represents x, which is the cost of one pencil, and the vertical axis represents y, which is the cost of one pen. Now the first equation we had was five x. Plus seven y equal to fifty, and to plot this, the line corresponding to this equation, let's find out any two solutions of this equation. And what we'll do is we'll try to find integer values of x and y so that uh, the solution is easy to plot. So here's our x y table, and I need to find two values of x for which two integer values of x for which y is also an integer. So I could take x equal to three. So that will give me five x or fifteen plus seven y equal to fifty, or seven y is equal to thirty five, or y is equal to five. So if you want, you can pause and verify that three comma five is a valid solution of this equation. Similarly, if I take x equal to let's say ten, then I get fifty plus seven y equal to fifty. Which means seven y equal to zero or y equal to zero. So two solutions of this equation are three comma five and ten comma zero, and both these solutions are easy to plot because the coordinates are integers. So now let's plot these two solutions. So three comma five is this point here, three comma five, and ten comma zero is this point here, and now let's draw a line through these two points. So this represents the solution line for the first equation: five x plus seven y equal to fifty. Now let's go to the second equation. The second equation was seven x plus five y equal to forty six. And once again, let's find out two solutions for this equation in which both the coordinates are integers. So here's our x y table, and Here I could give if I give x equal to three, so that will give me seven x is twenty one. So seven x plus five y is forty six. So five y will be twenty five, or y will be equal to five. So for x equal to three, y is equal to five, and I could give x equal to eight, and x equal to eight will make seven x equal to fifty six. So five y will will become minus ten. So y will become minus two. So while this negative value of y does not make sense in this situation because the cost uh, has to be positive, but for the sake of plotting the line, this solution will also work. 
so two solutions of the second equation are 3 comma 5 so 3 comma 5 is this point here and 8 comma minus 2 so 8 comma minus 2 is this point here and now let's draw the line through these two points and this line represents the solution line of the second equation 7x plus 5y equal to 46 now we can see that both these lines intersect at this point 3 comma 5 so 3 comma 5 is the solution of this pair of equations so x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5 which means that the cost of one pencil is 3 rupees and the cost of one pen is 5 rupees so with that we have completed both parts of question 1 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers